Namashivai students. Since we have already completed the chapter birth, now we'll be discussing the textual questions along with the main points and reference to context and some extra important questions from this chapter. So let's start with the main points. Dr. Andrew was a young medical graduate who worked as an assistant to Dr. Edward Page in a small Welsh mining town, Blenely. Dr. Andrew was returning home after a disappointing evening with his girlfriend, Christine. Dr. Andrew found Joe Morgan anxious and scared waiting for him. Joe Morgan informed him that the doctor was needed at their home as his wife was in labor before the expected date. This was to be their first child in a marriage of nearly 20 years. When they reached the house, Dr. Andrew realized that he would have to wait some time. So he decided to wait downstairs. Then, Dr. Andrew is called upstairs and starts his work. After an hour's struggle, the child, a perfectly formed boy, was born lifeless. Dr. Andrew was horrified but continued his effort first to save the mother, whose energy was reducing. After the mother was safe, his attention went to the child. He instinctively decides to receive the child. Dr. Andrew quickly diagnoses the most probable cause for the child stillborn, that is, asphyxia pallida. Dr. Andrew recalls a method he had once read about by which such a child had been successfully saved. Dr. Andrew tries alternate hot and cold water treatment to receive the child's breath. Dr. Andrew then rubbed the baby's body with a rough towel, crushing and releasing the chest. A medical miracle happens. The child finally breathes. Dr. Andrew redoubles his efforts till the child cries. After handing over the child to the midwife, Dr. Andrew left the house. He realized that he had truly saved a life that night, fulfilling the purpose of his profession. For the first time, Dr. Andrew felt that he had done something real, something worthwhile. Now let's move on to the textual questions. I have done something, oh God, I have done something real at last. Why does Andrew say this? What does it mean? Andrew, the protagonist of the story, birth utters these words as he is able to bring a stillborn child back to life, which seemed impossible in the beginning. The child is born still to the wife of Joe Morgan. The child is the first child of the couple who has been married for nearly 20 years. The nurse dumps the child thinking it to be stillborn. But Andrew takes care of the mother first and seeing her on the recovery path turns his attention to the child. Andrew at once understands that it is a case of asphyxia pallida. He orders the nurse to get him cold water and hot water and basins. He lays the child upon a blanket and begins the special method of respiration. Fifteen minutes passes but no breath comes from the body of the child. In sheer desperation, he rubs the child with a towel, crushes and relaxes the chest with both hands. Then a miracle happens. The little chest gives a short, convulsive heave and then another. Andrew redoubles his effort. Andrew has been able to apply whatever he had learned in the medical textbooks and even beyond that. It is really a great achievement for Andrew. The above words mean that a doctor is a medium through which God or Almighty grants life to the patients. The miracle happened by the grace of the Almighty. The next textual question. There lies a great difference between textbook medicine and the world of practicing physician. Discuss. There lies a great difference between textbook medicine and the world of practicing physicians. 
the textbook medicine is purely a science whereas treating a patient is an art the world of practicing physician requires a different set of skills and knowledge the textbook medicine no doubt provides the conceptual framework for treatment but no doctor can treat a patient without the use of his or her intuitive practices in the story birth the way andrew brings back a stillborn child to life is a testimony to this fact the nurse at first dumps the child thinking it to be dead but andrew takes a chance and the miracle happens he in the beginning applies his textbook knowledge but the child does not recover he doesn't lose heart he applies his own intuitive method and the miracle then happened treatment is science and beyond it is both a science and an art the story birth is a realistic fiction in other words the elements of the story has been taken from real life experiences and woven in the fabric of fiction now see the third question from your textbook requires your um uh, what should i say your um uh, experience of some incident where you have seen someone coming back to life uh, from the brink of death it also requires your knowledge about the various medical procedures one has gone through to do the same so it requires your point of view your knowledge so you need to write it by yourself in the next video we will be discussing the extra important question along with the reference to context Keep an eye on the next video. Thank you. Om Namah Shivaya.